spiritual and legal battle. We can't go to North Dakota and seek legal help because they're the ones that were shooting us. We can't go to the government because they are the ones that were shooting us on the bridge. That's why I'm scared to go out any legal route that I could take, any option that I could take. But on the other side of that is my spouse was carrying our child, our unborn child. So I made actions to make sure that she was taken care of as well as our child. So we, we, we went and we got medical proof. Got that she got hit with a grenade, there's proof, there's pictures. I was scared because of the mistreatment of the judicial system of North Dakota. And you can hear, and you will hear it testified as our people testify against them, and they'll tell you stories about how they were kept and mistreated in our surrounding jails, in our surrounding judicial systems that people were sworn to protect for our people. And I want the UN to know, as well as any, anybody else here, I want you guys to remember that there are people in this world who do care about us. And I believe that's why the UN has been called here. Because the United Nations is in a, is in a position for us to help us to save our way of life. United Nations is in a position to help save this world for everybody as human beings. United Nations has to understand that we have exhausted every single right that we are we should be allowed as American citizens, but yet we are guilty until we have to prove ourselves innocent in our court systems and in our jails. We have to subject ourselves to abuse and mistreatment because we, a lot of us don't have a home to go home to. A lot of us have sacrificed as well as my wife, everything to be here to stand up and protect because this is a spiritual movement. And this was called through charupa, through our way of life through prayer. And within this spiritual movement, we have called the world, and the world stood with us and still stands with us. I have brothers and sisters who have grown to respect and love from all over this world, from every color. And in return, as a Standing Rock Sioux tribal member, I want you guys to know that We need, we need you, and I give my utmost thanks to you, and I understand the sacrifices you made, whether it be personal, whether it be financial, I thank you for that, because I know personally that even though they want us to go home, they want us to go back home, take our children, take our wives, take our families back home. We don't have a home to go to. And personally, I want a good positive outcome for each and every individual that has come and supported us in prayer and in peace. And that's how we should treat each other when we call each other relatives. That's how we treat each other. Because those are Lakota values. Those are Indian values that were Talk to us as little people, generosity, respect, and love. Those things are what, that's what's going to save this world. And as, as you will hear my wife's testimony, she fed the world one of the highest honors. But she took time out of that. She took time not only to feed her relatives in camp, but I witnessed the heart of this woman took time out of her life, out of her time, 
from us as relatives, and she made enough to feed DAPO protectors. That's how much love we need. That's how strong we need to be as human beings to show our compassion, to show our respect and our forgiveness, to show them that they are human beings too. That, those little things, and that's what's gonna save this world we live in today, by showing love, by walking with a good heart and a good mind. And if we call each other relatives, then we should treat each other like relatives and love one another and encourage one another. And I want to thank the UN for coming here today. In my language, we say, nobody, I'm a tribal member of the Hukpapa Nation, tribal member of the Stand Rock Sioux Tribe. I am an American citizen of the United States of America. But yet I have to reach out to the UN for help. So I hope the UN understands that they are our last line of defense in this spiritual legal battle against Fort County DAPA protectors and the US National Guard and the US government. And I want to thank everyone today and I want to encourage everyone to, to continue your prayer. Encourage you to Continue to stand with us because we all need each other more than ever. Oh, Dr. Watson.